Hey, it's Chessie from Screegin Inc. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to order your pre-exposed screen from us. This is one of our most popular products. This is the small 43T pre-exposed screen. This is most commonly used for printing t-shirts and it also comes in a large version for those oversized print designs that you might have. So in this video, I'm gonna walk you through everything you need to know from ordering, sorting out your artwork, in order to set you up with one of these screens. This video is specifically for people using Adobe Photoshop. If you do have Vect files, you might be better off using Adobe Illustrator, which is covered in another video. Okay, let's get started and I'll show you how to format your images. You can go ahead and grab our template from our website and that's on www.squeegeeandink.co.uk. You can actually get this template for free, have a little play around before you purchase and I'm just going to show you where you'd get that. You'd go into services and then this pre-exposed screen tab just here. When you purchase the pre-exposed screens it's a free download but if you want to kind of grab it beforehand you can go to this free screen template section here. So if we click on that, it will bring that up as a product. Once you're on this screen template page, you can choose from the drop down whether you'd like the small or the large one. So I'm gonna go for the large one and I'm going to add that to my cart. When it's added to the cart, you'll see this, this button here and it's also up in this little trolley icon. I'm gonna go ahead and view the cart and check out. If I just want the template on its own, I can go ahead and proceed to checkout or I could actually order the screen at this point. Now I'm at the checkout page, I can just add in all my details, scroll to the bottom and I can press that I've read the terms and conditions and I can just place that order. This is completely free, it's not going to charge you for the template at all and now you're going to be able to download either the Photoshop or the Illustrator version. After checkout, you've got these two downloads here available. I'm ready to go ahead and open that template that I've just downloaded. It's really important to use the most up-to-date version of Photoshop and open it from within Photoshop, not just open the download. So I'm going to go File, Open and find it in my recent downloads. So it's this PS large screen. This is the one that I've opted for, the Photoshop version. I can press Open. So we've gone ahead and made this Photoshop template for you. On there, you'll find step-by-step -step instructions on how to place your artwork, label your design, and we've even gone ahead and specified the technical details at the bottom. So there you'll find that different mesh grades have different levels of detail that you can expose onto them. So we've predetermined the smallest font size, the thinnest line width, and we've even figured out what the half tone would look like on all those different mesh types so that you can make the right choice for your design. You'll notice that we've used the layers in Photoshop. So we've labeled one of them your artwork, which is where you should put your artwork design. And then there's an, also another layer there, which shows you the maximum print area of that screen. That's something that you can just toggle on and off to make sure you've got your image perfectly exposed on that area. Let me show you how to use that template following the step-by-step -step instructions. Let me quickly explain what these different layers are going to be for. So the first one is called your artwork. That's the layer that we'd like you to place your artwork file on. Um, it is also to scale. You can notice that this is quite a large, large file because we want your artwork to be placed at the perfect size that you want it so you can see where it's going to be on the screen. The second one is called safe zone and you'll notice it's not currently toggled on. If you want to see that one, you can toggle it on by clicking there and it will bring up this safe zone. I'm just going to zoom in so you can see that. The safe zone here on this large screen indicates the area where there's going to be emulsion and where your image is going to expose well when, you, when we come to expose it. If you were to have artwork outside of this area, we can't guarantee that that's going to expose because it won't have emulsion there and also the tension is going to be really high and it won't print well anyway. Um, that's just a little safety measure so we can turn that off there with that little eye. The other two layers are locked and they're really for us but 
they're just showing you the instructions and something that we use to print when we're exposing your screen. I'm ready to do step one. So I'm going to type my name in and my order number and the mesh count directly onto the template. These are the locations where I want to do that. So I'm just going to zoom into there. I'm going to choose the type tool and make sure that my type is black and I'm going to type my name. My order number is going to be found on my confirmation email once I've ordered my screen. So it might be something around like that. Again, I can just bring that in here just to confirm what mesh count choice I picked there as well. So I tend to go for 43T mesh because I tend to print t-shirts, but there are some specifications at the bottom of this template to help you pick that. So step one is complete. Step two is to upload my artwork to the screen template. I'm gonna do it by going File, Place Embed. And then I'm gonna find that file which is in my desktop and it's called, in my case it's called Screen Design and it's a JPEG. I'm gonna press Place and it will place my image there. And then I can choose where that gets exposed on my image area as long as it's within that safe zone. I can press Enter to make that complete and then I can check the rest of step two. Make sure this is to scale and 100% black. So I can go ahead and check the size of it. Once it's selected, you can find details like that in the transform so I can see the width is 31 centimeters, which is perfect for what I want it to be. I can go ahead and toggle on the safe zone if I wanted to, to make sure that it's well within those, those limits of the red area. I can toggle that off again. And now I need to make sure it's 100% black. The way to check that black is selecting the eyedropper tool, then clicking on an area of black, and that will bring up this, this fill here. If I double click that, in my case, it's all the zeros here, which is perfect. It means that's gonna be open mesh when I start to print. If it was gray, for example, and a mix of numbers, that's gonna turn into half tone tots. I'm just gonna drag it all the way down to zero again and press okay. So that's, mine's perfect. I can zoom out again. I need to check that all the text isn't fonts so that when we come to print it, it's in raster and we don't need to upload all your fonts and the images must be fully embedded. So when I placed my file, I went place embedded. So that's already happened and there aren't any fonts in this image, it's a JPEG. So that's all perfect. Step three is to save my template and to input my name into the file. So I can go file, save as. And if I stay up here, when it says PS at the front, that just tells us that this is a Photoshop file. So you can leave that. We know it's a large screen, so we can leave that as well. If you were to just select your name and change that, so I'm going to change it to Chessie Rosia Parker, that's the name that I ordered with. Please don't use any other names because it's a bit confusing tying up your artwork with your order. So, and then I can pick my order number as well. Let's just double check what I picked. I think it was 30485, but you'd find that on the confirmation email. I can just save that as a Photoshop PDF, that's completely fine, and I can press save. High quality print, all of those general settings are okay, I'm going to save it as a PDF. We're ready to move on to step four, and that, that's basically emailing us the file. There's a website called WeTransfer, and that makes it super easy to send these large files. So I'm going to go straight onto WeTransfer to send it to myself. I'm going to open up WeTransfer on the internet. When you get on here, you can send in my email. So you can type my email address here, which is going to be expose at squeegeeandink.co.uk. And then you would add your files into this section here, and that will try and find it on your computer. So mine I've saved in downloads as my name, my order number, 
and I've left that the, it's a large Photoshop file, so that's going to be perfect. I could just open that. It'll attach it to my Wii transfer. You can write me a little message if you need to, and you can press transfer. That's going to send you a verification um, number to your um, email address. So I'm going to go ahead into my email and check what verification number they sent me. You can grab your code from WeTransfer by copying that and going back into WeTransfer, pasting it in this little section here. You just press verify and that will take its time sending me that large file. I actually did it really quickly. So that's, that's all you'll need to do. And then leave the rest up to us and we'll expose your screen. If you're finding that you're struggling to do this with the templates or that you just don't have time, there is actually an add-on service when you're ordering your screens called Artwork Perfection. That means that we take your artwork and we format it onto the templates, get your approval and get those screens exposed. In the description below, you're gonna find a link and that will bring you to the page of where to order your screens. There's also a free template there where you can predetermine which mesh you're gonna pick for your screen order. I hope you found this video really helpful and please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.